Blue Origin calls this remote facility, located a couple of hours east of El Paso, the world's only private launch site. The nearest town, Van Horn, Texas, about 2,000 people, is about 30 miles away, allowing plenty of elbow room for testing sometimes explosive space systems. It sits on a sprawling and flat desert floor surrounded by some arid mountains, much like the government launch and test facilities in other parts of the West. Since there's no public access on the ground to the Blue Origin spaceport, the only way to get a close-up look is from the air. The airspace above the West Texas site is open to anyone who wants to fly by and take a look. Blue Origin manufacturing is done in Washington State, and this is where they bring the hardware to test it. This is where the company's New Shepard spacecraft recently flew on its first unmanned flight into space, and the capsule parachuted back for a landing. The same scenario would be played out in future launches of space tourists here, or as Blue Origin likes to call them, astronauts. A new online marketing campaign at the Blue Origin website includes details and videos showing how the tourism flights will be done, and you can sign up to be notified when tickets are available. Engine test stands here allow for safe testing of Blue Origin's own designs for engines. A giant new stand will test the latest and biggest engine design, the BE-4. That's being developed for larger boosters capable of lifting spacecraft into orbit. Locals say the activity here and in town runs in cycles. Lots of folks here and things happening when something is being tested and then it gets quiet for weeks or months at a time till the next task brings in the rocket scientists and technicians again. Blue Origin's promotional video says future paying astronauts going up for fun or to conduct research will come here for a couple of days to get trained and then be launched on their suborbital flights.